Hey, how's it going? In my last video, I showed you how you can take effective handwritten notes in Microsoft Word, and I'll link that below. If you have a touchscreen device, you have the Draw tab ready to go in your copy of Word, and it's all about taking advantage of it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize a ribbon in order to take advantage of all the features available to efficiently create dynamic notes. Let's start from the beginning. When you open Word and go to the Draw tab, you'll see something pretty bare bones, just some pens and inking features. So right click the ribbon, go to Customize Ribbon, click on All Commands, and make sure you have the Draw tab highlighted. So I'm going to go through this fairly quickly just because it's a lot of commands. But you're going to go to New Group, click on Rename, and we're, that's how you're going to create the groups that we'll put the commands in. I'm going to show you how to use all of these commands a little bit later in the video. But for now, I'm going to show you how I add the commands. Like I said in my previous video, all of these commands can be found in Word in different tabs but it's a lot easier and a lot more efficient to have them all in one place. I'll also show you how to install add-ins into the ribbon, including the Wikipedia add-in. If you miss anything, of course, you can always go back and rewatch, but I also have all the details in my blog post on ultracurricular.com, which I'll link below. When you're done, you can press OK and it will populate your ribbon. And for add-ins, it's not already in there, so you have to go to Insert, Office Add-ins, and search for them and then add them that way. You can go back to your ribbon and then you can create your new group and then you can go and put in Wikipedia. And I also put Scan and Paste in. So let's talk about your features. You have the Pen feature, of course. You have the Highlighter feature, of course, and the Eraser feature. There's also ink to math, so you can write down functions and it will convert it to text for you. And you can write much more complicated stuff than what I have here. So next we have the select objects, which is the workaround for not having the lasso tool. So you can select your objects and move them around wherever you want, reposition them, resize them. And you also have the navigation tab, which will show you your headings and your pages. So you can switch between them fairly quickly. Next, you have grid lines. So you can just turn them on, go to grid settings, and you can modify that to whatever size grid you want, and it will automatically change. And you can also go to margins and set it to the printer margins that you're more comfortable with. You can also have lined paper if you uncheck the vertical every box, but it's up to you. It's personal preference. You can switch between landscape and portrait. I mean, this is all very basic stuff. The size of the paper, depending on your printer or your paper settings. You can change the color of the page. So let's move on to insert. You can insert online images and it will take you to a Bing search. And I chose ghost for some reason, but I'll just stick with it. That'll be the theme. So you can choose whichever image you want and insert it, resize it, move it around, however you want to do it. And you can also have insert online videos. So you can search YouTube, you can use an embed code. I'm gonna try and choose something that's not really weird. I think this one should be fine. And it will play directly in the window. That was weird. This you can also move around and resize so you can make it the size of an icon if you wanted to. Next, you have insert charts. So you have column charts, line charts, pie charts, any kind of chart you want. And you can edit the data in Word, but you, can al you also have the option to edit in Excel if you want a little more customization. Next, we have insert screenshot. So it will take you to whichever page you were last on, and you can select whatever you want. It inserts it directly into the document. And you can also just resize that and move it around however you want. 
Next you have Insert Smart Art. So if you like graphically organizing your notes, this is a pretty good feature. There are lots of different options to choose from. And Wikipedia. So this opens directly in the window. You can search the same way you would in Wikipedia in the web browser and everything is there that you need including images. You can resize the window if you wanted to. And if you go to images, you actually have the option of inserting the images directly into your document. So just click on the plus sign and it will put it directly in your document. So Scan and Paste is an add-in that allows you to pair Microsoft Word with your phone so you can insert documents, images, video, and audio. You also have the option of viewing your pages side by side if you like flipping through them like a book. I know I went through this information very quickly, but I hope you got an idea of all the different things you can do when you take notes in Microsoft Word. If you liked it, please hit the like button, subscribe if you want more content like this, and share if you know someone who might benefit from this video. Thanks for watching, see you next time.